Well, uh, I'm really excited about Mr. Pandaria releasing tomorrow. It has been a long time coming. And, you know, the, the dev team unbelievably kicked ass on this thing. And I'm excited for their project to be played. I'm excited for the world to see what they built. I'm excited for the world to really see all the artistry and passion and brains and blood, sweat, and tears that went into building this thing. A lot has happened since the end of Cataclysm, you know, since the, the Demon Soul patch where, you know, Thrall and the, the dragon aspects took down Deathwing finally and kind of chilled out the uh, aftershocks of the Cataclysm. In the wake of all of those events, you know, tensions between the Alliance and Horde have, have reached a fevered pitch. Those who have read a recent novel called Tides of War that featured Jaina Proudmoore, where Garrosh Hellscream um, is bent on conquering all of Kalimdor for the Horde. The Horde Armada is cordoned off Kalimdor, so the Alliance fleets are coming in to break through and support their allied races on Kalimdor. And there's ships and destroyers and battle cruisers all over the ocean. You know, Horde and Alliance kind of countering each other on the high seas. And it's very much in that context that, you know, Pandaria, you know, finally is revealed again back to the, the real world, right? The mists of Pandaria part, and suddenly there's this really wondrous land. Certainly we bridge the gap from, from a story and lore perspective between Cataclysm and, and Mist of Pandaria. However, from a visual perspective, I feel like we were really trying to strike a different chord, specifically because we are talking about a continent that's been hidden for so long. There really is no need to tie the two together, other than the fact that it's in WoW and it should look like it's in WoW. So I think we kind of set that aside and went, let's paint a different picture here. Let's use this as an opportunity to really uh, take a step back from the craziness that happened in Cataclysm. It's, you know, introduce a new, beautiful, kind of calming environment and, a, and take a breath in our timeline. And then also make sure that we have that underlying theme of death and destruction and everything you've uh, become accustomed to with WoW. We've worked hard, obviously, on this, as we do with any expansion. But I think this one has been different just because it's so dear to everyone on the team, um, from the time that Sammy originally concepted what the Pandaren were, to now where we're a day away from actually releasing it to the world. For me, it's just that hope that everyone enjoys playing it as much as we've enjoyed actually experiencing, figuring out how we're going to describe this thing. It's more than just a video game. It's more than just this project we work on, you know, for long periods of time. It's a vehicle through which we engage with the world, you know, through, through our community, through the players and the people that love the fiction or the, or the raiders, the PvP players, right? All sorts of different types of wild player out there, but we're all kind of united by this space, you know, that we spend a lot of a lot of time in, and that's a very special thing. Without the community, WoW just wouldn't be what it is. So while the team certainly has poured themselves into this project, the community has as well, and that's obvious. And without fans as passionate and excited about this thing as our fans are and our community is, I think we just wouldn't have that same drive on the team to do to do what we do from a day, on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, reminds us, you know, why kind of why we're doing this. You know, like sure, it's a job. Sure, you know, we got a company to run, we got a product to put out, but. That's not the point, you know, the point is, is, is truly engaging people with art and, and taking people, you know, on an adventure and sharing stories and, you know, dwelling, you know, co-dwelling in realms of imagination, you know, that's what it's about. I know that our whole team appreciates how, how much, how passionate people are about the game um, and we just really want to thank everyone for, for sticking with us on this crazy ride. <laughs>